Okay, I want to show you another problem we have with the property that um, I'm going to work a little bit on here today. We're behind the house, and in a previous video, we showed you a little bit about the ruts that were uh, put in our property because of the loggers. They run all the way around the house, starting out in the front of the pasture, which I showed you before also. So we have an issue here with water runoff. Our property slants slightly downhill. This is the the higher point of the property. And then um, there's some little bit of wetlands up that way and the water drains towards us. But the problem, all these darn ruts that they've left has, misdire has misdirected the water to be basically become mush and swampy. So these, I, I think originally there was a nice stream that flowed from up that hill down this direction into here and flowed all the way down that way into our pond and then there's one on the there's an overflow to the pond that follows down to the to the stream and that's been messed up as well so um here is a large muck this is a mess this is mosquito breeding territory right here and um my thought was that we just need to find the original path that the water flows and try to reconstruct it. Uh, look at that massive tree, isn't that? That makes me sad to see such a big tree down. Stupid, stupid, abusive loggers. I know logging has its place, I understand that. And I know that there's loggers out there who do it right, who do it honest, who are good and, and uh, are helpful for the environment because I understand that there's an importance in um, keeping forests healthy. But this is abuse, this has been abused, this has been neglected and uh, I think the, the owners who, who called in the loggers were taken advantage of, whatever. It's just a mess. It makes me sad. So here's this gunk of water and I'm just thinking we need to build up this, this, this ground right here and get the water to flow its natural flow. Okay, I would love to hear from any of you experts. I would love to have an expert in water direction or Anybody who knows, I don't even know what you call those people who understands how, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> who understands how <laughs> um, water is meant to move on a property, how to keep water or property from flooding and whatnot. I, would, I don't know what those people are called, but I would love to be a best friend with one of them so they can come help us. Uh, it may require some large machinery, but today I have a spade shovel. That's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to take my little spade shovel and I am going to just try to find the areas that are um, small where water is not moving and try to get it moving downhill so that we don't have mosquito paradise here again in a couple weeks. So here's an area that I was talking about. Um, the huge grooves. And um, Hagrid, hi baby. This is his favorite spot for the kids in the spring and summer, they call they like to go frog hunting here. This is not only is it mosquito paradise, it's tadpole paradise. The the frogs are just all over the place here. Uh, so what I want to actually try doing I, this is again sloping slightly downhill, but it's stuck. The water is stuck because um, for whatever reason we have basically a dam here. Now of course this groove is not supposed to be here in the first place. The groove is supposed to be flat, but of course the the logger and tires mess that up so um but i want to try and see if i can do this if i can clear away this little bit of dirt here to get this water flowing downhill like it's supposed to i don't know i might be killing myself for nothing but uh i, don't know, I just got we got to find some answer and i know this is a project that will take years and years and years to do because it is massive massive but um I don't know, so here I go, I'm gonna try this. Okay, as if I wasn't already out of breath. I dig in, I dug in here a few little trenches and you can actually see, if you look close, we have a little bit of movement heading downhill. Whew. Now, of course it's gonna get stuck down that way and so I need to work on that as well, but we have a little bit of movement getting the water to flow away from puddles and towards um, the creek. Another small victory. Cleared that little spot and the water is running, forming a good train. 
on down to hook up with that one. Again, I need to clear that down there, but I feel victory with every little clog I managed to clear. <laughs> it's gonna take so much, but little victories, I'll take it. Okay, I've been working on this now for probably about 15 minutes, and in that time, look how much this part has already dried up. This was a, a you know a small little puddle here, and it's already dried up. So it's moving along. My other side, my right side, is coming along too. So, um, yay, little by little. Okay, here I am at the opposite end now, and the water is flowing towards me pretty well. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's coming at me. So now. I'm gonna make this corner here because this track line here flows significantly downhill and I know for sure this track line lines up eventually with the stream that leaves the overflow of the pond. So I wanna get this water into that little stream thing. Again, I know this is really a temporary solution. Ultimately, we want all this filled in, but at least for this season, I'm hoping to have a little less mosquitoes on our property um, than we did last year. More digging. Okay, here I did it. I made the corner. I dug the trench here and dammed it off a little bit. So the water is now making the corner and finding its way downhill. It's amazing how fast it fills up. With every shovel full of dirt I, I take out of the ground, it uh, fills with water. So I dammed it on that corner and I made a, another corner here because this, I realized this white right side of the trail, the track, actually leads down to the creek. So I'm gonna go and just make sure that there's a few open spots down there and just let the water fill and flow. All right, I did it. Way up there, you can see where my daughter's standing, way back there is where I put the, um, the bend in it initially, the first bend. And it has flowed down here through these tracks the right side here is coming from the overflow of the pond from that direction and now the left side is coming from uh, farther up um, through the trenches from the from those trenches I dug out and it flows both of them flow down here at this meeting point and into this little stream this stream has probably been here for a long time I'm sure it was the original stream that was built or or formed or whatever from the overflow of the pond when the original owners built the pond several decades ago. So once again, these the trenches have wreaked havoc here, but I'm going to use them for now as way as a way to dry out my property for this for the spring. Here I am, so far away. I'm tired. <laughs> I am worn out. This is a lot of work for a little mama to do, but it, it's rewarding and I'm happy to do it. I've been wanting to do it, so I'm thankful for the good weather to allow me to get out here and do this and actually have the time to do it. So, but because I'm so pooped, guess who's making dinner? Not me, my kids are making dinner. It's Taco Tuesday and I know they know how to make tacos. So I'm gonna go clean up and sit down in front of the fire and relax and um, let my kids serve me for the rest of the evening. So uh, thanks for watching. We have a crazy adventure here on the Happy Place Homestead, but um, we're gonna get there. We'll get there. Thanks for joining us. This is Linda and uh, blessings to you all guys.